Well, nearly all universities and colleges across the country have dropped the strictest guidelines stemming from the pandemic, but a few holdouts do remain. According to No College Mandates, which is a group that tracks COVID policies in higher education, more than 100 schools still require students to be vaccinated in order to attend classes in person. And a smaller number of schools, including well-known names like Rutgers, like Georgetown, also still require indoor masking. Correspondent Elizabeth Pran joins us live. So Elizabeth, do we know if enrollment is being impacted because there are not a lot of places still requiring indoor masking? You're so right. And that's really the million dollar question. Students are returning next month and we're going to see, but keep in mind Rutgers is a huge university, 70,000 students. And when we talk about the distinction between public and private, certainly these private universities have much more flexibility, but public schools typically have to look at some of those state guidelines and they usually fall in line, which is why there's such an outcry with Rutgers. So on their website, they said in part, incoming students must abide by a COVID-19 vaccine mandate. It says there are no exemptions, but quote, evaluation on a case-by-case -case basis. So even if students hypothetically are granted an exemption, on-campus attendance at this point is not guaranteed and they will be required to undergo testing. Here is the chief operating officer. And if, if their choice is um, that they cannot be here under these conditions, we understand that. We wanted to give them the, the opportunity though to make that choice and not be rushed into that choice. But Nicole, really a different stance from what we're seeing at the federal level. So the Center for Disease Control releasing its most relaxed set of COVID guidelines since the pandemic began, now reporting that the COVID-19 public health emergency is over and nearly all school districts in the state of New Jersey have dropped all indoor mask requirements, as you mentioned. We've seen the same at Princeton. We have not seen the same at Georgetown, obviously a different state. They are requiring masks. So where do all these schools fit in nationally? You can look at your screen, the American College Health Association Association conducted a survey of about 300 schools and it said most campuses recommend, I want to emphasize, recommend that students receive a vaccine. So that's around 61%. When it comes down to requirement, it's closer to 18% of those 300 that were surveyed. We spoke with New Jersey State Senator Declan O'Scallion, who tells us that he is ready to stand with any student who may be disenrolled from the university, we're talking about records, because of their vaccination status. And he goes as far to say, quite adamantly, that the uh, administrators at Rutgers are cowards. Here he is. For Rutgers, which should be the preeminent uh, scientific institution, public institution in New Jersey, to be clinging to this now anti-science and punishing students, life-changing punishment, by the way, is outrageous. The administrators in Rutgers should be ashamed of themselves. You can see Nicole very passionate. As I mentioned, 70,000 students are going to be returning to school on September 6th. Back to you. All right, Elizabeth Pran, live for us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.